Hey, welcome back to Robot Cantina, and boy, do we have a treat for you today. We're going to take a slight detour on our power-making shenanigans and do a viewer-suggested video. A common question that keeps coming up is how many miles to the gallon does that car get? Truth be told, we really don't know since that was never part of the original goal. So today we're going to find out if a lawnmower-powered car can get better gas mileage than a Cadillac. Stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss any of this. Previously I made the statement that the Honda gets crappy mileage and my Cadillac is probably better on gas. This thought is based on a tiny fuel tank in the Honda. According to the specifications, the fuel tank in the Honda is only 3.5 liters or about 0.9 gallons. So obviously the fuel tank needs to be topped off often. And this leads me to believe the Honda is hard on gas. So let's find out. Over here we have a 2007 Cadillac CTS. This semi-vintage Caddy tips the scales at a modest 3,500 pounds. Now that's actually not too heavy for a Cadillac. Under the hood of the Cadillac is hiding a little 2.8 liter V6 that produces 210 horsepower at 6500 RPM and 194 foot-pounds of torque at 3300 RPM. Not exactly a torque monster like Cadillacs in the past, but this one gets along just fine. This Cadillac has a secret weapon when it comes to gas mileage. It has a six-speed manual gearbox, which is definitely unusual for Cadillac. Anyway, the manual gearbox gives the Caddy a sports car feel and also provides a boost to the fuel economy. Of course you guys and gals know the Honda by now. And if you're new to this video series, here's a quick recap on the world's slowest street legal car. Under the hood you'll find a lawnmower engine. No? Alright, how about a go-kart engine? This little engine is 13.2 times smaller than the Cadillac engine and puts out 9.5 horsepower on a good day. The transmission is a CVT 5-speed. Yeah, it's complicated. I explained it in one of my previous videos. Anyway, the car weighs about 1,300 pounds and pushes the limits of street legal. All right, well, let's get into it. The Honda's tiny fuel tank was completely drained and then filled with 250 milliliters of gasoline. I'm using the biggest funnel I could find because if I spill one drop of fuel, I'm sure someone would complain in the comment section. The tires were pumped up to 40 PSI and the oil was checked. Not really much can be done. This car is what it is. Today I brought in my good friend Chuck to help out with the video. Chuck is actually the official stunt driver of this channel. Anyway, Chuck couldn't decide which car was more unsafe, a Cadillac with a stick shift or a 20-year-old hoopty with one functional spark plug. We decided to settle by playing rock, paper, scissors. Unfortunately, neither one of us know how to play, but I'm seeing a trend. Then Chuck suggested Rochambeau. It was at that point I thought it would be best to drive the Honda. And Chuck agreed. So here are the rules. The Honda will run point and the Cadillac will follow at a reasonable distance. We're going to be using the Hillbilly racetrack today and we'll do as many laps as it takes until the Honda runs out of fuel. Once the fuel is exhausted and the Honda shuts down, we'll then grab all the necessary data from the Cadillac's trip computer. Okay gentlemen, start your engines! Here we go.
Okay, so what did we learn? Learn to play rock, paper, scissors. Never accept a Rochambeau challenge. Blowing the horn will not necessarily cause the car ahead of you to speed up. A fully loaded Cadillac CTS is capable of getting 31 miles to the gallon if you drive it like someone's grandma. The weather here is getting colder this time of the year. The Honda got 54 miles to the gallon. Well, that's about it. Thanks for joining us. Hey, back it up. Did you say the Honda got better gas mileage than the Caddy? Yeah, why? I thought you said the Caddy would do better. Cadillac, as you know, is the gold standard in automobiles. Always has been and always will be. I would like to point out the Caddy did very well. So you were wrong, and you can't admit it. Alright, for some reason I completely miscalculated the potential fuel economy on the lawnmower powered Honda. Actually, the Honda got 54 miles to the gallon on 87 octane with 10% ethanol and 56 miles to the gallon on 89 octane recreational fuel. Now, recreational fuel is also known as pure gasoline and it doesn't contain any ethanol. Just a side note, I checked over at the Honda Insight forum and 54 to 56 miles to the gallon is not too bad for one of these cars. Some folks claim upwards of 70 miles to the gallon, but I reckon that all depends on how the car is driven. By the way, this video was inspired by the comment section, so thanks to all who suggested it. Well, I have to admit, I'm glad I did this experiment. It made me realize that perhaps I should be using pure gasoline when I test the engines and for performance evaluations. You see, winter blend gasoline is soon going to be a reality here in Michigan. Now, seasonal fuels do cause a difference in performance when it comes to automobiles, and as far as I know, the formulation of pure gasoline is the same year round. Anyway, that's a rabbit hole we'll explore sometime in the future. Well, that's a wrap for today. Coming up in the next episode, we'll do the massive overhaul on our 212cc engine with all the performance parts plus a few extra goodies. So stick around, you're not going to want to miss any of this. Hey, if you're still watching, you must have enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click on the like button. And while you're at it, click on subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop a note in the comment section. Thanks for watching.